Vermajan. Agus Afleen Fuwashi Yves Galer, it's uh, you're all very welcome back. A happy new year, which sounds very late, but since we haven't seen each other since before Christmas, I think we're allowed to say that. It is lovely to see you all again, and thank you sincerely once more for coming and giving of your time and participating in this Citizens' Assembly as representatives of the overall population um, to recommend how the state can best respond to the issue of biodiversity loss. Now, I had introduced our last meeting as our final meeting, and I don't think that's incorrect, because I'm seeing this as part two of our last meeting. We just didn't quite finish the work that we were doing at the last day. So hopefully today, we'll get to finalize that work, we'll get to agree on the ballot papers, and then you will vote on those ballot papers during the week. Please don't forget to do that. We'll be reminding you um, incessantly to make sure that you're doing that. Um, so uh, I'm hopeful now that with today, we'll be able to stick to the plan that we shared with you during the week. And I just wanna start our day by reminding us all, I guess, why we're here. You were uh, chosen at random to represent society in Ireland. And I was thinking about it um, in advance of our meeting this week. It's such a wonderful mix of people that we do have in this room. We've got you know, all walks of life, a huge range of ages, um, with people from the most westerly peninsula of Ireland to inner city Dublin. We've got people from Argentina to Athai, from the heart of the Ukraine to the borders of Uchtarard. Um, we have farmers, we have fishers, we have chariot makers and taxi drivers. The whole of Ireland is in this room. And I've been very proud to talk about that when anyone asks me. And so um, I think it's just important to kind of note that and reflect on that because it's your job now to make sure that what we give back today is informed and reflective of all of the work that you have done since May last year, which sounds like such a long time ago now. So we've already agreed on 100 recommendations. We have about 100 more to consider today. It sounds like a lot, but you've already seen it, and I do believe that we'll manage to get through that. You've had opportunities over the last three months to make proposals for recommendations, and it was great to see those contributions coming in. Thank you to everybody who spent time drafting those. Um, and I think now that the list that we're considering today represents our best thinking on the subject. Um, we won't be considering new proposals today, but what we will be doing is deliberating on the wording of the documents that you have in front of you that will go to the ballots that you will then vote on next week. Um, my job has up to now um, been to make sure that the Assembly is, is as informed as possible to rec make recommendations. My next job is to present your recommendations in a report to the Oireachtas um, in line with our terms of reference. And I think there's no harm to remind ourselves of those today. I won't read the whole thing, but the state has asked us to tell it how it can improve its response to the issue of biodiversity loss, considering the international European national dimensions, considering the threats to biodiversity and the opportunities to reverse biodiversity loss to consider the drivers and the perspectives of the general public, of representative groups, of advocacy groups, of experts and policymakers, to consider the policy coherence uh, between different policies that are already out there, to promote greater public understanding and to improve the state's response um, to resourcing and implementing its response in a strategic way. So I think considering what we have, it's a good coherent piece of work that we have to consider um, and talk about today. People are interested in this work, not only in Ireland, but abroad. You might have seen some of the coverage that we're getting internationally, and I'm going to ask the Secretariat to actually share those articles with you in the online page so you can see the interest um, that's in this, because it is the first National Assembly on, on Biodiversity Loss. And as always, we are live streaming our meeting today, and there will be discussions in sitting rooms and on social media and in editorial offices about our work. So with that, thank you for putting all of your effort and time into it. Um, and I think we'll have something by the end of today that we can stand over. Now, we have time tomorrow if we would like and if we need it, but I get the feeling from having chats with people last night and this morning that we're all on the same page that we would like to complete this work today. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to sincerely thank the expert advisory group for giving so freely again of their time in responding to all of the new proposals 
um, and, and to giving justifications for uh, decisions made in those proposals. So thank you to all of them. And thank you also to Tim, who was integral to the whole process and dealt with all of the emails that were coming through all over Christmas and New Year. Um, and I want to thank all of you for keeping us in aligned with the principles that we agreed in May. And so I think we'll continue with that today, that we'll be respectful, that we'll be efficient, and we'll be collegial in our work today. So we're going to start now looking at document A and looking at the first three sectors of document B. Um, just to talk you through document A, first of all, there were a couple of recommendations that had been in document B, but looking at the coherent set of all of the recommendations, they didn't fit actually within a sector, they were more overarching. So it's for you to consider now those additional recommendations in document A, whether they should be included in it, we'll vote on that. And there's also some wording changes, again, looking at the completion of the document, making sure the language um, was clear and also coherent. So they're just things to think about in document A, and then we'll look at document B, and you will deliberate as a table, and whatever the majority of the table agree on for wording, that's what we will discuss, okay? Um, so with that, let's begin our work. You can enjoy your discussions at your table for the next hour, and we'll have our plenary after that, and Gunairi Liv August Lynn Galair, um, and I hope we will be happy to conclude our work this evening. Okay, Grum Hagav. <laughs>